Uh, we just got the ball on the ground a lot, um, over 50% on the ground, and we didn't win the 3-2 count, um, but that was a, kind of a bigger part of the game. He pitched a good game. Uh, we spoiled, we just, Cabby pitched a great game too, and um, it's tough when Cabby threw you know, that well that you know, we can't come away with a win. Um, you know, five innings, four hits, one run. I mean, that's as good as he's pitched all year in, you know, one probably the most meaningful game of his young career so far. And uh, not to, you know, score more than one run is, it was tough. What was the explanation that they gave to you uh, after taking back the Solaire home run? Crew chief review. Yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah, um, with Cabrera, what specifically stood out about him getting only one walk? Obviously, you have to be pleased with that. Yeah, I felt like he just slowed the game down and um, felt like he um, it wasn't rushed for him. The game didn't speed up. He just kind of was, um, you know, pitch to pitch and didn't uh, wasn't concerned about um, you know maybe the next hitter or what ifs and that type of stuff. It just like he was commanding the zone um, so much better with you know pitch to pitch and nothing really sped up. So. Yeah, he was uh, he was really good today. Pounded the strike zone, like I said, and um, when he's in the strike zone, it's tough to hit, and uh, it showed today against a good lineup. What could this mean for you guys if you can get that front room, you know, the rest, however many? Outs yeah, I mean, we we don't have uh, you know, there's some starters down, so we uh, we need him to to be good, and uh, we have had faith in him, uh, especially coming out of spring training of you know what, what kind of pitcher he could be and is going to be. Um, you know, he had a a little hiccup in the middle of the year, but we wanted him to go down and work on throwing strikes. He did um, some up and down games down there, but since he's been back, maybe you know a couple bad innings, but overall he's been really good since he's been back. Go ahead. Oh, so just one in particular. You mentioned, I guess the three ball count, maybe the counts, but like he came in with a lot of walks. Third pitcher, obviously some good numbers, but just. Was it him executing you guys? Lack of execution. I'm sure the game plan was fine, but why? What turned the tables where he had that kind of performance instead? Yeah, we weren't. To me, we did have to look at the video over again, but we didn't. Feel, it didn't feel like we swung too too much out of the zone um, on the three-two count. We took some fastballs right there um, for strike three, and um, his the fastball changeup combo just kind of um, hurt us today, and uh, almost like Pepio game, you know, where there's. Uh, just kind of ping ponged us back and forth, and uh, we just couldn't get on time with one of the other pitches. Arias obviously had a good game, but other than that, um, you know, not too much hard contact other than than Louis. Skip after you know such a hard fought series over the weekend. Do, do you buy into emotional letdowns? Did, did you ever experience that after? Uh, no, that, I mean that wasn't our message today. No. Um, you know, we acted like this was and still is the New York Mets. I mean, it's still a really good team. I don't care about the trade deadline. Like that's a real lineup and um, Otto Vino closed. I mean, he's a really good pitcher. So we, we knew that, you know, they were gonna come in and, and you know, that team is not gonna quit. Um, they're trying to knock us out and uh, they pitched a really, you know, really good game. They played uh, played a, you know, pretty good game as well. Like as far as defensively um, overall, um, but it was, uh, it was us not, you know, providing any offense for Cabby today. And just back to Solaire's home run being taken away, is there a level of frustration just in the sense of, I mean, it was originally called fair and then it ends up being a, a Well, of a course it's frustration yeah, when I mean, you just call the home run and trots and uh, yeah, there's there's definitely frustration when you think there's a home run, but there, I mean, there's nothing you can do. They, they did a crew chief review and it's kind of out of our hands once that happens. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's it's part of the game. It, if they see it, saw it was a foul ball, I mean, there's nothing, but, you know, what, what, what can you do when they call that, you know, stuff. Arise getting to 200 and hit 201. Uh, how would you describe just what an incredible accomplishment that is? Yeah, I, I haven't been a part of, I don't think, a 200 hit year. Um, so pretty special. You don't see it too often, uh, especially in today's game. And um, yeah, he's. I don't think he's done either. So he's he's been phenomenal. He, I think he's gonna have a couple of these in his career. And um, you know what he puts in, he deserves to get 200 hits every year. He has stayed healthy the whole year, um, and that's that's been a big part of the of it as well. It was just the first run run against Tanner since July thirty first. Just I guess a hanging slider there to to get him there. He's human. I mean, <laughs> that, it's just that he's going to give up a, another run probably in the next few games too. I mean, it's just uh, he's been lights out, and uh, yes, some good hitters run into baseballs you know every now and then and. And McNeil put a good swing on the slider and, and hit it out, but 
uh, yeah, a good chance you'll see Tanner out there again in the ninth. Skip, going back to the starting pitchers, we talked to Sandy earlier today. He, he threw a bullpen, but he didn't know what was next for him. You guys have a plan. When do you expect to have him back on the mound? Every day is a new day uh, when he comes in, and we'll figure that out when he comes in. It's, there's no uh, there's no real script. We find out how he feels the next day, and then go from there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.